Jennifer Lopez stepped out with vocal coach Stevie Mackey and her twins M and Max on Saturday evening in Los Angeles. This stunning 55-year-old Hollywood star, who has been promoting her J.Lo Beauty Line Christmas kit, wore a nude slip dress with a plunging neckline and a jeweled trench coat with stone embroidery. The native of the Bronx sported a slick, flowing style with curled ends and long, golden blonde hair extensions that she parted in the middle. The 43-year-old Mackie, who was carrying leftovers from the Arden Eatery, looked sharp in an all-black ensemble. Other members of Lopez's black-clad entourage included her two children from a previous marriage to Mark Anthony. Typical Jennifer, with a smoky eye and thick lashes, sported a full face of makeup. She and Mackie have been collaborators for a long time, and last week he made an appearance on Instagram alongside Jennifer Lewis and her. With Jennifer and her singing teacher, the Hustlers actress got down to create some original music while taking a lighthearted approach to politics. It doesn't matter who you are or where you work, get your ace out and vote, Lewis screamed to start the song. A simple caption reading vote accompanied Lopez and Lewis's collaborative post. A birthday video of the Selena actress and Stevie Wonder performing a duet was posted to Instagram in July. Based on the 1963 single by Barbara Streisand and Judy Garland, Get Happy Happy Days Are Here Again, the duo gave an emotional performance of the song. At a photo call for the film Unstoppable, which Lopez co-produced with her former husband Ben Affleck, she flashed her toned legs before heading out to dinner on Saturday. Upon celebrating their second wedding anniversary in August, she announced her intention to divorce Affleck, putting an end to months of speculation that their marriage was in trouble. After their breakup, the celebrity began showing up solo at movie press engagements. The split was exactly what I needed, she said in a recent interview with Interview Magazine, and she spoke frankly about it. 